And today we're talking about math facts that seem to defy logic. Your hair defies logic. What is that? What is what? You look like a one-man boy band who got old. What's on your head? It's hair product? Hair product? <laughs> I'm glad I got scales. Can I just get through this intro, please? Go ahead, Grandpa Timberlake. Do you think? You said glad I got scales. I got scales. <laughs> Even though we only have five cards, they could be arranged in 120 different ways. And if we add just two more cards, now we've got 5,000 different permutations. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just say 5,000? Yep, seven factorial is 5,040. All right, all right, here's what I need you to do. What? I need you to empty out my bowl and refill it all the way up with vodka, right to the rim. Guess daddy needs a break. You know, fishbowl martini would make a pretty good video. Don Tootin it would. Uh, is anybody seeing this? Hello? You look like Ryan Seacrest with a hangover. You look like a one-man boy band still chasing a dream. You look like a one-man boy band with the Instagram old filter. <laughs> I could do this all day. It's gonna be our weirdest video yet. You know what's weird? Your skin tone. What now? What shade of orange is that? It's self-tanner. Tan? Who are you kidding? That's orange. I'm trying to do a thing here. You look like a new inmate at a prison where they eat nothing but carrots. I, I don't know what that means. Yeah, you do. Now, the Earth is about four and a half billion years old. When the Earth was young, it was much hotter. No, who wasn't? You're telling me. Star-nosed mule. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, Star-nosed mole. <laughs> its sense of smell is so acute that it can detect odor underwater. Oh, boy, I'm glad I can't do that. I bet. It's like a sewer in here. I understand. I swim in my own waste, you know. It's time to clean your bowl. I get it. Thank you. What terrifies me is... That face, which is how it got its name. It looks like someone haphazardly slapped a human mouth on a fish and called it good. Yeah, seems okay to me. <laughs> wait, 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 why are you showing this? This is a Trita Chihuahua Ocelti. I thought you called it Little Mr. Happy. It's an amphibian found in South America. Oh, I thought the... Now's not the time. This bowl is see-through, you know. I'm really uncomfortable right now. And I don't have eyelids, so this is all on you. I've tried to summon Princess Tuscawanta, the broken-hearted lady of Lake Ronkonkoma, who has claimed the lives of 120 swimmers, all young men. I've even held a seance with Gene Simmons while chasing ghosts around the Queen Mary. Uh, now you're just making things up. I picture closing every show with a seance like this. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Dr. Freeman did this procedure without gloves, without anesthesia, without surgical training. Ooh, fine. I'd rather have a bottle in front of me than a frontal lobotomy. Oh, that old gem. <laughs> I got a million of them. Today, we're going to try and explain ASMR, what it is, how it works, and why millions of people are watching ASMR videos. Yeah, I, I don't get the whole dungeon thing at all. Dungeon? What do you... And who could be comfortable in all that leather? No, 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 no. You're thinking of... You're thinking of something different. Uh, uh, ASMR is, causes people to feel uh, the tingling sensations all over their body. I think we're talking about the same videos. We're not. These are the ones where they pick a safe word, right? No. Peanut brittle. We don't need a... I guess that's two words, right? Um, ASMR has nothing to do platypus. with... Platypus. ASMR folks call a, a braingasm. No, oh, every time someone hits the like button, I feel a tingling in my dorsal fin. Whoa! Oh boy, someone just did it! I felt that too. No, oh, baby! Ooh. Okay, ease up on the like button. We don't want hecklefish to stroke out. Wow, wow. And these fish are completely aquatic. We're not talking about flying fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean flying fish? There are a few species of fish that can fly. Well, technically they glide, but it's pretty amazing, actually. Amazing? I'll say. It's like... It's like a whole new world, all new stuff for me to see. I just fly along and sing this song. It's a whole new world for me. What? The most alluring things in life are often those that are unattainable. So true. What? Sheila. Ooh, talk about alluring and unattainable. I guess we're doing this now. Who's Sheila? She was this angel fish that I knew when we were guppies. Oh, no. Oh, she had the most perfect gills. And oh, my own, her pelvic fins went all the way back. 
<laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I'm talking about secret places. Oh, I dreamed about Sheila's secret places. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No, I, I don't. I, I mean, I do, but we're not. <laughs> Why am I even talking to you? <sighs> I lost my train of thought. Yeah, you're really uh, floundering. <laughs> uh, floundering. You see what I did there? Oh, I'm on fire today, baby. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, come on. Can you take a joke? Oh, nice. We are mature. Hecklefish, you ready to behave? <laughs> oh, oh, thank goodness. Oh, I couldn't breathe. Uh, yeah, give me, just give me a second here. Oh, uh, <clears throat> okay, I'm ready. Drama queen. Who built this crazy thing? Lockheed Martin. Uh, that company seems to show up in an awful lot of these videos. Yeah, I noticed that too. So what do we do about it? Uh, uh, can you make one of those for me? Uh, I'm terrified right now. I'm using a stolen Netflix password. Oh, I, I know. You stole it from me. I didn't really peg you as a fan of the Twilight movies. Stop breaking my horns. I need some protection over here. Where do you, pal? There we go. Yeah, uh, I don't know why, but that feels so much better. I know it does. Disclaimer. We are merely reporting we are not endorsing any of these theories. I may endorse one. You may not. Fine, fine, fine. What do you got? Many conspiracy theorists believe the archives show the Vatican is hiding proof that Jesus didn't exist. Oh boy, you're right. I'll stay out of this one. Good thinking. Shit. Well, how do you say I'm sorry in Korean? Ji song hi Wait, uh, I was being rhetorical. Is that, uh, is that, is that really how to say it? Yep. I don't. Why do you? Hey, we all have secrets, don't we? Kind of lifeless eyes. Very corpsey. Corpsey? Yeah, you know, corpsey, like a dead body. No, I, I know what a corpse is, I just- You know, like that thing in your closet you bought from the internet? Oh, oh, there's nothing in my closet. Oh, come on, you were on Amazon tracking the order like every 15 minutes until it got here. You kept staring at the window like a puppy dog. Th there's nothing in my closet. You know, if your neighbors saw that thing, they'd call the cops on you. There's nothing in my closet. Right, 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 right. There's no room for anything else with all those skeletons in here. I'm a rocket man, burning bottle boot up. <laughs> you smell that? I can smell that underwater. Well, don't look at me. Let's get out of here. Agreed. Does the moon really smell like gunpowder? Turns out it does. For this video, we're going to assume the moon landing was not faked. We are going to assume the moon landing was real. <laughs> You'll believe anything. Uranus. Uranus. Uranus! <laughs> please, please don't say it that way. You say tomato, I say Uranus. Tomato, Uranus, potato. Do you mind? All right, go, go ahead. I, I couldn't resist. And lots of asteroids contain formaldehyde and cyanide, so they could smell like pickles and marzipan. No, oh, sounds like what my ex-wife ate when she was pregnant. You've been married? Three times. Huh, I didn't know that. Well, I had a life before you came along, you know. Okay, okay, take it easy. Sorry, sorry. I'm still working through some things. Hey, you know, I heard there's a black hole near Uranus. Will you stop it? <laughs> Oof. Ready to bring it in? Yes, please. You're terrible at this. Tower, Cessna 350, requesting touch and go. Cessna 350, Tower Roger. Report over freeway for approach. Says the 350 tower over. Says the 350 tower over. Where the heck are we? What is this place? I have no idea. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. And some of the crew disappeared altogether. Whoa. You okay, bud? Uh, I, I feel kind of funny. Hmm. This should be easier now. Or as one researcher said, the scream of a thousand corpses. Huh. Corpses are usually pretty quiet. Please, please don't heckle me when I'm trying to be dramatic. Fine, fine, fine. Touchy. 
Discover I'm just doing my job. You don't got to jump down my throat every time I say something. <laughs> Thank you, folks. I'm here all week. Make sure you tip your waitress and hit subscribe. <laughs> okay, okay. I got one of those in here. Okay. Let's see how scary it is. What do you think? Scary? No. Nope. Intimidating? No. No, I hear you make that sound all the time. Rude. Just saying. Come here and pull my flipper. It was then reported by other newspapers and magazines as fact, and this drove word of mouth, creating one of the great modern urban legends. So, the lesson here is... Don't believe anything the media says? You're learning. Hey, hey we gonna talk about this? What? Hello, who, who's the new guy? What's he talking about? Am, am I new? No, Space Panda, you're fine. <laughs> Shh, by the Polish secret police. No, that gives me chills. You can get chills underwater? Hey, do me a favor, will you? What? Don't hush my buzz. Now, many have gone quiet since the end of the Cold War. Ha! What now? The Cold War is alive and well, my friend. Well, it's not a very enlightened point of view. Now, wake up, Furface. I beg your pardon. If you're dumb it's enough to think like the Cold yours, War ended, sir, I don't know what to tell you because we've been in one war or another for the past hundred years, years and there's no boys. sign of us. Mm -mm. Uh, forgive me. Uh, do continue. Oh, yeah. Do continue. You can even download the files as MP3s for later analysis. Ooh, I'm going to need a pencil, my tinfoil hat, and a tall glass of whiskey. I'm sorry, but do you have any sherry? No, baby, give me a break. There's a lot to cover about pyramids. For example, they weren't built by slaves. Aliens don't need slaves. Can we can we cool it with the aliens for, for just a minute? <clears throat> Think of a nightclub or a concert where you could just, you could feel the bass. Oops. Like that. <laughs> We've got a video coming up on this, so hit subscribe, hit the bell, okay. like, share. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, hey, uh. <laughs> don't don't oversell it. I'm sorry, I, I, I get excited. So the vault was built to be just behind Abraham Lincoln's hairline and would contain all the information anyone would ever need to know about the mountain. Wait, wait, wait. So they would have to blow a hole in Lincoln's head to do this? Yeah. And nobody saw a problem with that. You know, I never really thought of that. Six Semper Tyrannis. <laughs> before moving on to the hall. Everyone's got a side project. I know. Hey, you want to read my screenplay? No. Nope. Different responses from the players. Mind control? Yep. G grab my hat, please. Ah, thank you. The top secret nature of MK Ultra makes it impossible to measure the human cost of the experiments. Why is that? Oh, because the CIA destroyed the files. Yeah, that doesn't sound legal. It's not. That's your government, people. Enjoy. It's to fly employees, contractors, and government VIPs into and out of America's top secret installations. Okay, I'm interested. But the destination Janet goes to the most, I'm talking a few times a day, is... Please say it. Please say it. Area 51. Yes, grab your tinfoil hat. Well, the company allowed the NSA access to billions of client emails as well as phone call metadata. The emails were accessible to analysts on a keyword search basis. I use a burner. Nice. The executive branch must request warrants from a newly formed FISA court. I bet the NSA hated these new rules. They did. Did they at least follow the rules? Oh, man. Now, in 2017, a judge ordered the NSA to provide evidence proving or denying that it spied on AT&T customers. Did they provide it? Nah, they appealed. It's still in court. Still? Well, what's taking so long? Ah, you know, COVID. I'm getting tired of that as an excuse. And he called it the ghost phone. The ghost phone? Yes, the, the ghost phone. Ugh, talk about a long distance call. Please, no, no one-liners when I'm building suspense. Yeah, okay, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, Dr. Venkman. But nobody really knows what happened to the research. So Edison didn't get this to work? No. Oh. But Tesla did. Ho -ho! To give the emperor and the pope more power. An elite group of people manipulating the entire world to gain power. What else is new? Oh, you believe this one, huh? Three words. Yeah? Tin foil hat. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. This has been The Wire Files. And if you had fun or learned anything today, hit like and subscribe and share and comment and all those things that are good for the channel. He told me to tell you just then. <laughs> and the slide curves down into the darkness, so there's no way to tell where it leads. There's no sign or instructions or nothing? Nope. Now, how do you know this doesn't lead to something awful like sharks or snakes or a K-pop concert? 
You don't. So you enter another small door and continue crawling through the dark. Again, you crawl? Yeah. Who started this cult? Me, doctor? I don't see how... And you crawl to another secret room, which has a stack of business cards that say, Do you have knee and joint pain? Call Jeffrey Rosen, MD. Latitude Orthopedics. <laughs> you like that, huh? <laughs> Even Jeff Hull himself is wearing what looks to be a military uniform. Now, this is similar to what the leader of Scientology wears. Did you just beat me? Had to. We had to call it the Tom Cruise thing. The Tom Cruise thing? That's Scientology. Hey, look, if you say the S word, they're going to come after us with lawyers and video cameras. Good point. Oh, and also no electricity on the Sabbath. Who set up all these rules? God. Why doesn't God want you to do any of this stuff on Saturday? Well, because he feels you should have one day a week to engage in pleasurable activities like eating, spending time with family, and having sex. Mm. Shabbat sounds pretty good, actually. It what? What the heck is this? Shabbat sounds like a really good idea, so uh, I'm Shoma Shabbos. You're Shomer Shabbos. Shomer Shabbos. You can't just put on a hat and Shomer think that you... Shabbos. Okay, okay, take it easy. Shomer Shabbos over here. Anyway, as long as you're within the A-roof, you're good to go. If I were a rich fish, dibby 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 do. All day long I do ba do ba do. If I were a wealthy fish. And the nematode brain has about 300 neurons. Yeah, that doesn't sound so hard. Well, the human brain has over 80 billion neurons. Oh. Right. And I guess a hecklefish brain has even more neurons than that. Well, aware of its ignominious situation. Ignominious. It means humiliating. I know what it means. As the eyes took on the glazed look which they have in the dead. Um, uh, you okay there, sport? Hello? Oh boy, not again. Uh, 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 sorry, folks. The, the, the human gets a little squeamish. Uh, oh, we'll be back after these messages. But the craziest headless animal has got to be the chicken. Specifically, Miracle Mike. No, oh, the movie with the male strippers. No, 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 no. That's Magic Mike. Yeah, I don't think you're right about that. Uh, I am. Yeah, I don't think I've ever heard of a theremin. Oh, you have. Okay, I know that one. In 19 Bring back David Tennant! Sorry, sorry, I get emotional about Dr. Who. I understand. Are there any studies about the effect of vodka on goldfish sex? Mm, I don't think so. Well, let's start researching, baby! <laughs> Prioritize getting to the root cause of Havana Syndrome. Oh, no, they're always trying to get to the root cause. They are. Do they ever find it? Uh-huh. The Silurian Hypothesis. What the hell is a Silurian? Well, they were intelligent humanoid reptilians who, in an episode of Doctor Who, were awakened by nuclear testing after 400 million years of hibernation. Lizard people? Yep. We're finally doing a lizard people episode! All this carbon in the atmosphere also causes the Earth to warm slightly. Blech. What? Global warming is a myth. It's not. Sheep. Look, you can argue that the warming is man-made or that it's not, but either way, we're up about a degree. <laughs> I mean, we're talking t-shirt weather at the North Pole warm. I mean, the ice caps were completely gone. Lizard people do like warm weather. What? Lizard people are cold-blooded. Hello, read a science book. There there were no lizard people. Bleh. So, Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. Whoa, 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 you're not going to say it? What? Hello, that, that's an alien. Yeah, a, a few others have proposed that theory, but for the sake of this video, let's assume that the Moon-Eyed people are not from outer space. Uh, an alien. Okay, would you, you let me get back to this? You got it, Kimisabi. But they ignored the many, many other words that aren't even close. The media has been spitting out fake news and propaganda for a long time, huh? A long time. Which in today's money is over $6,000 a day. Inflation, huh? Yep. Are we going to talk about the Federal Reserve and what a scam it is? Uh, not in this video. Audit the Fed! He spotted a stunning woman. He describes her as one of the most beautiful women he'd ever seen. What was she wearing? Don't, don't be creepy. Hello, I'm asking for science. Well, Swan says she was barely wearing anything at all. Short shorts, bikini top, and the tallest high heels he'd ever seen. Heels tall, bikini small. She said she liked the ocean. Excuse me? Hello, Cool J. I'm going back to Cali. Uh, 
I don't think so. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Eh, eh, eh. You good? Uh, I didn't get it. Don't you hate that? Yep. Yeah. Good time. Thank you. Children's game from the UK called Tiggy Touchwood, which is essentially a game attack. <laughs> now what? Touchwood. <laughs> uh, don't be an infant. <laughs> Down there. But we don't have a fountain. Hello, I live in one. Okay, well, let's try it. Anything? I don't think so. Try again. Nothing. Again. No. Wait a minute. <laughs> Sucker! <laughs> You're on a family vacation driving across the country to see, uh... The biggest ball of twine in Minnesota. Biggest ball of twine in Minnesota. Fine. Minnesota! Minnesota! What? Might be Weird Al's best song. Aren't getting through. No VHF, no UHF. Uh, UHF might be Weed Al's best movie. You're a little obsessed. Yeah, I'm obsessed. We need more resources diverted to research, more satellites, and a full overhaul of our power infrastructure. And those resources aren't coming anytime soon. Hey, didn't we just pass a big infrastructure bill? Yeah, yeah, I realized that was a stupid question as it was asking it. We can't count on a government. And they use the movie Frozen to prove their theory. Did you just say they use Frozen? Yeah. The Disney movie? That's right. Let it go, let it go. I do -do -boo -do 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 -do. That one? Yeah, uh, that, that one. No, this I gotta hear. Was watching the movie Frozen when- Let it go, let it go. I'm a fish and I like water, let it go. You done? I love that movie. Some say this was how the Count was able to talk his way out of the English prison. Jedi mind trick? Yep. I'm not the Count you're looking for. You're not the Count we're looking for. Move along. Move along. Move along. Move along. <laughs> when a hiker claimed to have seen a female Bigfoot giving birth. Ooh, that sounds messy. It does. A lot of hot water and towels. Right. I, I get it. Because if a Bigfoot is giving birth, oh boy, that's going to be a lot of... I said I get it. Why couldn't they see blue? Simple. Is it? Everything was in black and white. No, that's not accurate. Hello, I've seen the movies. The BBC and Business Insider made that part up. It's a complete fabrication. Oh, wait a minute. I thought the media follows the science. Well... So the media only follows science if it fits their story? Uh, it would seem so. Well, you can knock me over with a feather. Here's a quick thought experiment. How do you describe color to someone who's been born blind? Um, okay, I got one. Orange is like a warm summer's day. A gentle breeze rustles the pussy willows. You can smell the honeysuckle. In the distance, the warble of a meadowlark. What are you doing, writing a haiku? I was, I was being rhetorical. Oh, right. Yeah, colors are hard to describe. 